Okay, so when I was testing this uh, EVGA Z690 Dark Kimpin motherboard the other day on LN2, uh, something happened at the end of my uh, testing. So suddenly the middle power uh, switch position stopped working, so uh, the whole uh, system just uh, like stopped behaving normally. The uh, motherboard was giving uh, weird debug codes all over the place, but the other two uh, BIOS positions are working just fine. So uh, it seems that the middle BIOS is corrupted and now when I turn on the power supply and I try to turn on the system, nothing happens when I press the power button over there. Sometimes at the end of my uh, previous testing uh, it, w it did turn on but the debug codes were all they were all over the place like DP, F0, something like this. So now I will try to recover the uh, corrupted BIOS using the uh, uh, USB, uh, is it like flashback feature that's present on the motherboard? So there's already a USB stick installed in that uh, a specific USB port that's present on the motherboard's PCB. It's formatted to uh, FAT32. I think FAT16 will work just fine as well. And the USB stick or the USB file is already uh, placed at the root of the USB stick and it's called or named EVGA E6. 99.bin. It has to be named correctly or otherwise the uh, motherboard will not recognize the uh, BIOS file that's uh, installed. So uh, let's see what happens. So uh, we will just uh, turn on the uh, uh, power supply. So now there's uh, passive power on the motherboard and this time around, so uh, it's actually new on this generation, we don't press the reset button over there anymore for five seconds. We will uh, you press the uh, lower uh, button at the rear I.O. and it should react over there. Okay, didn't seem to be working so it should give E1 or E4 debug code I think. E1, USB stick not recognized. So I will check. Okay, so now it's uh, apparently doing it. So uh, I found an old USB 2.0 uh, stick. It's a 16 gigabyte one, so not the smallest one. F formatted to uh, FAT32 and now it actually turned on the system and it's blinking. So it seems, and I actually saw this same thing on some of the previous generations like Z490 and so on. The motherboard is very picky on the USB stick you wish to use. So uh, what I found is that the oldest, like very old USB 2.0 sticks, they have been the best for this whole process. So very old USB 2.0 uh, stick, maybe good one could be like uh, uh, USB, uh, even like a new USB 3.0 stick if you uh, uh, create small pa uh, partition out of uh, unallocated space and maybe format it to FAT16 it could work better but uh, seems at least it seems like so that old these older USB sticks they seem to be uh, doing better so let's just see if this now passes okay so it actually uh, went all right so I actually got a little bit scared because the whole process uh, took a while so uh, according to the uh, according to some of the uh, BIOS engineers from EVGA the BIOS flashback process does, does actually take up to seven minutes. So uh, uh, it does take a while, so don't get scared. It will just uh, circle that uh, number zero on the debug LED and the uh, start button will uh, just blink. But anyways, so now the middle BIOS position switch is uh, enabled and we have uh, BIOS backup and running. So version 1.07 but of course the uh, BIOS profiles they are gone because we had to uh, reflash the BIOS but anyways so the hardest part was to get uh, the whole thing working so uh, you need again I want to stress out try to find some very old like uh, uh, USB 2.0 stick if uh, your like newest if your newest one from the store doesn't work I tried many like very new USB 3.0 sticks that I've been buying from a local store for the last few years. So for this kind of purpose, like for overall like PC tinkering and uh, testing, it's very wise to have some very old USB 2.0 uh, 
USB sticks uh, laying around because sometimes uh, lower end systems and some of these like more basic principles they might be uh, uh, more compatible with very old and smaller size uh, USB 2.0 uh, drives so just wanted to say that so uh, pretty good overall and now I can get things back up and running so uh, hopefully this video helped you out this should be the same thing on uh, other motherboard vendors as well so try this process uh, if you are having issues so uh, if you are running any of the latest like EVGA motherboards you just need you just need to name the BIOS file accordingly to the uh, motherboard model you are running so if you are running uh, uh, Z690 Dark Kimpin, you need to name it EVGA E699.bin if you are running uh, EVGA Z590 Dark then it has to be uh, EVGA E599.bin uh, uh, E499.bin uh, for the Dark KP, uh, Z490 Dark Kimpin, I think, and uh, for Z390 should, uh, it should be E399.bin, but I'm not like 100% certain. You need to double check that uh, yourself from EVGA forums or from the EVGA website, like uh, refer to the manual of the motherboard. But, anyways, so uh, hopefully this video helped you out, and uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.